This video will help you troubleshoot some of the common problems when trying to enable two-factor authentication on your Epic Games account so you can get back to trading in Rocket League. Firstly, I just want to answer a few of the really common questions that I keep getting on my videos about two-factor authentication and trading in Rocket League. The first question is, do I need to enable two-factor authentication? Yes, all players need to enable two-factor authentication to continue trading in Rocket League. This includes all free-to-play players and all players who actually paid for the game. So if you play Rocket League, you need to enable two-factor authentication in order to continue trading. The second question is, do I need to do all of the two-factor authentication methods or just one of them? The answer is just one. You don't need to do all of the two-factor authentication methods, just choose the one or two that are best for you. And the last question is, do I still need to purchase 500 credits in order to start trading? If you are a free-to-play player, you need to purchase 500 credits in order to start trading in Rocket League. If you paid for the game, so for example, if you're a Steam player, then you don't need to purchase any credits. So you need two-factor authentication and you need to purchase 500 credits if you're a free-to-play player. Okay, let's get into the troubleshooting. So this first one is for people who have enabled two-factor authentication, but they still can't trade. If you have enabled two-factor authentication, but you still can't trade, it's possible that you have enabled two-factor authentication on the wrong Epic account. To make sure that you've enabled it on the right account, go to the Epic website, then click Sign In. Then choose the platform that you usually play Rocket League on. So if your main Rocket League account is on PlayStation, select Sign In with PlayStation Network. Then, if it doesn't automatically bring up your main account, enter your PlayStation login details and sign in. I can't do this part because I don't have a PlayStation, so here's what it looks like when I do it for my Steam account. Just a note on this part, at the moment it seems that there's a problem with the Epic website which makes it look like you're not yet logged in even though you just logged in. To fix this, just click help and then you'll see that it has successfully signed you in. Then you can go to account and get your account details. Once you're in here, you can see all of the account information on your Epic Games account. This is the Epic account that is linked to the PlayStation account that you just used to log in. To confirm this, go to connections, then accounts. And you should be able to see your PlayStation account user ID here. If this user ID is the same one that you usually use to play Rocket League, then just go to the security tab and check that two-factor authentication is enabled. Okay, this is another problem I've seen people having. I'm not sure exactly what email address you guys are forgetting, but I guess it's the one associated with your Epic account. If this is the case, you can still try the method I just mentioned using your PlayStation or other platform account to log in. If you don't know those login details, try this method instead. So again, go to the Epic website, then go sign in and select sign in with Google. Then you'll get a Google mail screen with all of your Gmail accounts. Either select one of them or select use another account. Now here I'd recommend just trying this process with every single email account that you can remember ever owning in your life. Two things will happen when you try to log in with your Gmail account. If there is no Epic account linked to that email address, you'll see this screen saying, we are not able to find a linked Epic Games account. In that case, the email address you entered is not associated with your Epic account. So you can just close the window and try another email address. If there is an Epic account linked to that email address, 
you'll see this screen telling you that this email address is associated with an existing Epic Games account. If this is your Epic Games account, sign in to connect it to your Google account. Then you'll have to log in with your Epic login details. The email address field will already be filled in because it's the Google address that you just tried to log in with. And you'll just need to know the password. If you've forgotten it, just do forgot your password and go through the whole process. Then once you've logged in, click on connections and check whether or not your PlayStation or main Rocket League account is connected to this Epic account or not. If not, you can try to connect it by clicking on the connect button and go through that login process to connect them. Okay, this last one is again for people who are having trouble remembering which email address they used for their Epic account and may not have used a Google Mail account when registering. So if you've used Yahoo or some other mail provider, then this one might be for you. So basically just log in to each email account that you have and then just search the inbox for emails from Epic. You can search for just the keyword Epic or Epic Games or any of these email addresses or domains that Epic uses to send their emails. I'll put all of these down in the video description so you can just copy and paste them. Then if you can find some emails from Epic, go back and try to log in to the Epic Games website using this email address. All right, that's it for this video. I hope that helped at least some of you. I wish I could cover more information in this video. I wish I had a PlayStation account or a Xbox account so that I could test those processes for you guys, but unfortunately I don't, so I can't really test them. But if the video did help you, please leave a like. If it didn't, a dislike. And subscribe for more videos like this, as well as a whole bunch of other Rocket League content. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.